Barrett, I need you to put at the top of your list. Fix my ship. Um, no, scratch that. Top of your list, quit getting into trouble with pirates. Second on that list, fix my bloody ship. Well, 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 team, we have Barrett back. Um, we also may or may not have some angry pirates. That might be a bit, bit much. I don't think they're necessarily angry. Although, to be fair, I also do not know what Barrett did to necessitate him getting kidnapped and attacked and tracked as he was. So, mission numero uno team is get our chaotic troublemaker. So, back to the lodge? Yes, back to the lodge where he can um, lay low for an indeterminate amount of time to prevent us having to go on a wild goose chase again and save him again. I've known you for a very short period of time and I've had to save you twice now. Both times from pirates. One time I had to shoot my way out. The other time they listened to reason. I'm getting better at this whole persuasion thing. I say that now and it'll blow up in my face spectacularly the next time I try it. I am certain of that. And it is very evident that the crew did nothing to repair the ship while we were preoccupied. Which is, to say the least, annoying. So. We will need repairs. Repairs that can be done at New Atlantis. Hopefully. Oh, lovely. Um, right. Let's... They seem friendly for the time being. I don't wish to test any of their kindness. So, we need to get back to the lodge. What they... Piazzi 1, what? Um, no, I want... Take take me to. Uh, can I? There we go. Piazzi one. It's a ship. Vessel one. Asteroids. Star station. What? I'm confused. What's here? Abandoned mine. Okay. I don't know why that matters. There's a ship over here. That could be intriguing. Anyways. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Uh, Alpha Centauri. Ooh, good. We can just make it a straight shot. Set course for Alpha Centauri, people. We... Are leaving. Right? Right? There we go. Three, two, one, let's go.
Lovely. I can assure you, we have no contraband. Alright, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. Lovely. I said that very confidently and had a brief mm, moment of panic that that would have been wildly inaccurate. What's at the science outpost? What do we got going on here at Jemison? We've got the lodge. Science outpost. Interesting. Maybe we go there after we deal with dropping off our wonderful friend. I think that would be best. So, let's see. There's a civilian outpost there. We, however, want to go to New Atlantis. Yes. Please. Yes, here we go. Oh, I guess it's going to be finicky that way. New Atlantis and land. Mind if we stop by the waterfall on this trip? I could use a few moments to unwind. I don't see any issue with that. Primarily, though, we have to get our ship fixed. Are you. Hey, kind of breaking my concentration here. Cool, and my ship is breaking. Hey. How about you? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always fine. <sighs> right here for you. Repair my ship, please. You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. I hope so. Yeesh. Um. Oh, what do you have for I'm sale? I'm sure you can find something you like. Rambler. I want like a cargo ship or something. I think that would be useful. Ooh, yeah, that's a big one. It's also a lot of money. I do. Oh, what is? Oh, that's how much they have. I do have enough for it, and that would be. Hmm, interesting. Oops, oops, oops. You can do five crew. It's five hundred shields. It's got a pretty good grav drive it's not, it's not like it is not a combat ship let's be clear but i do like it do i ooh 606 627 i still like that one a little bit more i think this one's sleeker it's also bigger by a wide margin Nothing significantly different outside of its price point. It's got a better engine, I guess. Ooh. The Falcon, though. I'm kind of a fan. I think. I think, team, we are getting a new ship. Oh. Never mind. I apparently am too bad of a pilot for this. So. I need... You're very judgmental. I need to work on my piloting, apparently. Alright, well. A little... A little annoying. Just a little bit. Um, Do I have anything I can sell? See, I have no idea what a lot of this does. For ammo-wise, I mean. Outside of it powers or is for my various weapons in which I can prevent or minimize the enemy's ability to harm me. Let's go ship inventory. Modified Rattler... Sure. Take that. Take that. Um, I don't really like these. Urban Eagle. It's cool. I'll keep it for now. 
Lacerate to calibrate it. That can go, that can go. Muzzle brake and a medium mag. Oh. That's actually a pretty cool looking gun. 11 millimeter rounds, okay. Uh, we'll keep that, and that, and that. Sure. Most of my cargo space is going to be this stuff. Which I'm not 100% certain that I want to sell and get rid of at the moment, so we will call it a night. Out of curiosity, piloting. Piloting, you can utilize ship thrusters. Okay. B ships, I need to be rank three. Okay. So, do that. And what do I need to do? Destroy 15 ships. Okay. We can... As sad as it is and sounds, we will eventually and most certainly achieve that goal. We have a very high tendency towards... You will be scanned as you enter intership Please keep moving. conflicts that resolve themselves only through firefights. Whew. Nothing yet. Well. Apparently nothing yet. I do enjoy the city at night. Um, right. We are going to the lodge. Evening, officer. To Mast District, please. What is it? Um, nothing. We're just going to the lodge to, you know, deal with the whole Barrett situation, if you recall. I don't know if you do. It's been a long, long, tedious process dealing with Barrett and his eccentricities we'll just uh hello I hope it, I don't like the idea of relying on the free star collective but here we are um remind me what the tree branch is supposed to do to help here had I not explained that perhaps I wasn't clear I have been rather agitated lately Thanks to the large sample size of the data from my, uh, colleague, I can use a generative algorithm keyed to the unique DNA and structure of an individual specimen. Okay. I can run simulations to attempt to replicate the physical characteristics of this other tree, mm -hmm. and from that, derive an approximated audio profile of the tree's vibrations. Hopefully, our friend here will sense those vibrations, assume there is a suitable mate out there, and... Well, calm down, I suppose. Um. You don't sound convinced. I assure you, this is decades of expertise. Yeah, okay. My, um. Uh, that's unsettling. My plant biology knowledge is not exactly up to date. Where am I going? This way. But I do happen to recall that, and take this with a grain of salt, the trees don't... Um, oh, dang, you're in a hurry. Um, don't reproduce in the manner in which you are describing. Again, I am not very familiar with alien plant life, but I don't think that's how it works. Every time I return here, 
I'm reminded of the importance of Constellation's contributions to exploration. Okay. Can you, like, chill out for a little bit? Like, good grief. Hello, everyone. We have... Sorry for the wait, everyone. Got a little held up on Vectera. You interrupted me. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now, look at them all. Yeah, they're still spooky as hell. Hello. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of okay, this. That's Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Um... I think, for the time being, you need to collect yourself and not get into trouble. Let me finish a few things, and then we can reassess. How about that? You don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of my genius. I get it. Let me know if you change your mind. Not quite that. I don't want to get dragged down in the gravity of your... Questionable decision making. Hi, Vasco. I wonder if I can have you on my ship right now. I think I have an open crew. Anyways. Thank goodness we finished that off. Into the unknown. Andrea. P Piazzi 1. That's what I... Oh my goodness. That is frustrating. Although, if I had to get her on my ship, I was completely full to the max, so it's probably for the best. Um, that's surveying. Locate gaseous font and procyon A. Locate chart ecosystem. Okay, I think. Not particularly interested right now. Refurbished goods. No Salinas. Red mine, that's a ways out. Uh, I'm not interested in joining, so that's a big fat no. I like to uh, live my life my own way. Rivka. Uh, let's go to Neon for that. Well, into the unknown it is. Find Andrea. Go to Tau City 8B and go to Piazzi 1. Where's Andrea allegedly? In in Tau City. Okay. Basil. I guess Andrea is in the Alright. So do we do efficiency? We could go back to Bessel. Find Piazzi 1. What's up here? Oh, it's just a survey. And then come down to Tau Seti. Serious. And then back? Probably. Luton's Star. Aluminum. Yes, 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 yes. Or we go from Alphas and Cherry. We go to Sirius to locate a planet with a charred ecosystem then we go to Tau Ceti could come back to then the Procyon stuff here and then up to Bessel for Piazzi 1 boom 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 I like that idea so I think I don't expect much issue here famous last words 
I'll probably run into some massive problem and end up getting embroiled in some sort of local conflicts again. But I think we do this. So we go to the Sirius. Then we go here, and then there, and then there. Yes. Okay. I like that. All right. Hi, Vasco. I am at your service, Captain. Lovely. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Lovely. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development Ooh. in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Um, that does... Uh, sound actually quite interesting. Did you miss Barrett at all? My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett right. would find your question amusing. Possible. Um, must have been quite the challenge. Barrett has thus far survived every mission on which we have embarked. It is therefore evident that my efforts have been successful. I suspect that Barrett would disagree with how necessary my intervention has been in any given situation. That sounds about right. Um, you mentioned outpost development. I do have a very... questionably set up I think it was an iron mine on Mars. The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment I love the sound of that, especially if it gets me that aluminum I need. Okay. What kind of advanced structures are you talking about? Like aluminum generators, aluminum mines, uranium, nuclear fission? The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Okay. Beyond that, Extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you oh. have built. Okay, so I could become like a pardon. All right, I'll uh, take a look the at that. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in love your ship's it. cargo. I love it. How about you join the crew? Captain Francis, I will proceed to my assigned post. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ship. Um. Can I? Outpost engineering, outpost management. How about Lynn? Can be unassigned for the moment? Oh, no. Hold off. Just chill for a little bit. Sarah. Let's go. We haven't run a deep diagnostic on you in a while, have we? I do not know, sweetie. Yeah? Uh, what did you call me? I did not Maybe enough formally time. address you, honey. Vasco, can um, you repeat what you just said? I did not formally address you, handsome. Let me just run a couple of tests. Yeah. Understood. I will prepare my system to begin the diagnostics. This will run as a background process, honey bundles of joy. Good grief. Who did this to you, Vasco? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. I do not know what you mean, Mr. Muscles. I mean, it is kind of nice, though. Yeah. 
What I'm sure that's exactly why you did that. To my precious pumpkin? Uh, never mind. Vasco, please quarantine any recently modified code relating to communications. Yes, sir. That was incredibly uncomfortable. All right, Sarah. Our next tasks that I've decided on. We're going to Sirius, and then we're going to Tau Ceti, I believe, and then we're going to come back to Procyon, and then go up to Bessel. So, let's make our way back to our ship and head off into the cosmos once more. Yes, I'm a little excited. Back in a fully repaired and ready to take off frontier to explore reaches of space unknown and discover new planets. I like it. Let's go, Sarah. To Sirius, we take off. First, we go to Sirius the Pup. And yes, I am quite serious. You, you, you get it? You get it, guys? Because it, cause, cause serious. It's a, it's a play on words, team. Please just laugh. Here we go. We are in Sirius system. What have we here? Okay. Can I? No. Oh, crap. What is here? Science outpost. Rock. What am I looking for here again? Oh, here we go. Sirius 1 is probably the place we need to go. Based on everything there. Sirius 3B, though, is showing... Oop, let's back up. There's a ship. And I am curious. We're going to take a look at the ship. And then we're going to go to that Inferno moon. And explore a bit. Okay, nothing's on our scopes for Hey there, friend. If you parts. need any ship parts, feel free to answer the hail. Uh, except? Ah, crap. That is, uh, n not, not what I wanted. Um, pardon. Give me a moment. Ah, I just need to set my comms up. Hello? H hello? Thanks for answering. Oh, there so, we go. a little context. My partner and I are celebrating our 10-year anniversary. Oh, that's exciting. Congrats. We over a hail, just like this one. I was in need of ship parts, and my husband, Saint that he is, offered to help. And to commemorate the event, we're inviting random passers-by on board. Uh... Okay. Weird. But I've also seen weirder. I'd be happy to celebrate. Great. See you soon. Um. Okay. We'll, we'll dock. I. C it can't be. Okay. Okay. Team. Consensus. 
Is this, is this too weird? Probably. Welcome Maybe. back. Hello, Lynn. I would say it's weird, but we also met a grandma who just like, yeah, come on my ship. I'm asleep. Take some food. So, I don't know. I mean, worst case scenario is like, they try something crazy and we, uh, get a ship. A little dark. Hello. 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 Are you in here? Oh, there you are. You sure the coordinates are right? Of course, I have every location written down in my slate. But you're the king of typos. For all we know, this ship is going to grab jump us into the nearest sun. Uh, we don't want that. Warm. Hi. I was a military psychiatrist during the war and switched to a private practice after we got married. Oh. Okay. Hi, you are the person I presumably talked to. Here's your ship you gave parts, away as too promised. Many supplies last time. What? You've got to save some for the rest of the trip. They were in trouble, and they had a huge crew. Me you always rush in. You need to stop and let things breathe. You listen to him. Um, thank you? I used to be an explorer, but I gave up the stars in the sky for the one standing beside me. Very presumptuous, Sarah. That's cute. My partner loves to talk. Me, I'm more of a listener by trade. Okay. You know what that moon reminds me of? The time we were boarded by the Crimson Fleet? Or, or the dogfight with House Faroon? I was going to say cheese, but... Now that you mention it. Um, let's go. I didn't think that it could get weirder than a grandmother giving us food while she slept. I was wrong. Is something you might be interested in? Lovely. Uh, you can put it in the cargo hey, hold up? for now, I guess. Um, let's go, team. That was extremely bizarre. They just gave us ship parts for nothing. He didn't even want to really chat. So I'm mildly concerned. Seemed like a sweet enough couple, but... Yeah, it was just... Weird. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I definitely thought that they needed the parts. I didn't expect to just, like, go in and then be like, Oh yeah, here's, um... Here are some free ship parts. No conditions. No contingencies. Thanks and have a great day. Peace. Know what I mean? Just weird.